Journey out to Gwinnett County. That's where Palisuro is right now. We've learned that some workers have wrapped up early. It's uh, 537 right now. They're going home. What's it look like right now, Palo? Where you are behind you? Yep, so well today the focus was on provisional ballots. So the group that was here today, they were focusing on provisional ballots. They were supposed to go home around seven o'clock, but they got done earlier. So as you can see behind me, there are just a few people still working on those. But for the most part, the majority of uh, employees here, volunteers, they have left home. As for the focus tomorrow, that will be the adjudication process for the absentee mail in ballots that were affected by a software glitch. Now, officials are not sure just how many absentee mail in ballots were affected by the software glitch. A big reason why is because really of the way ballots are processed. They are scanned by batches, which could be 25 ballots or 50, depending on whether a voter fills out both ballot pages or just one. So I just got word that this could take another two to three days. So here in Gwinnett County, we could be waiting for results through Saturday. Now we know the software used is new. Usually if there's an issue with how the ballot was filled out, if a bubble wasn't fully filled, for example, the software selects that ballot to be adjudicated. So that process involves a three person committee. It includes a representative from each party and an election official. So if the system flags a batch, they will need to be looked at by this three person committee. Although a spokesperson tells us they're not sure the exact number of ballots impacted, we know going into election night, the county had 118,000 absentee mail in ballots. The first half of those scanned with no issue. When the second group, which could contain about 60,000 ballots, was scanned, that's when the glitch happened. Uh, but the county does not expect to have to review all 60,000. Now the adjudication process does begin Thursday, so tomorrow at 9 a.m. But in addition to dealing with this software glitch, 4,000 or yeah, 4,400 absentee ballots were received here yesterday, so they also have that to deal with and to have those processed. But for uh, now, we'll send it back to you guys. Uh